Dash one two. Please, no numbers. <laughs> All right now, baby, talk. Where's Dr. Leadfinger? Leadfinger? I can't tell you he'll kill me. I'm sworn to secrecy. Nothing will make me talk. Yeah. Oh yeah? That's what they all say. <laughs> all right, talk. Uh hello. <laughs> Well, I sure don't make girls the way they used to. You're looking for me, XJ12. <laughs> Dr. Letby. You are too late. I have perfected my formula. I intend to blow up the world. Call me a quack, will they? <laughs> blow up the world? And let somebody get hurt? Oh, no. Not while I'm on the job. I warn you. You take one more step and I will blow you to smithereens. Hokotanga! Hmm? Yes, my master. The mad Mandarin. Ah, give it to him, mad. Steve. Steve. Oh, now we're... No, you're wielding my collar. No, no, no. Wow, is he having a nightmare? Well, no wonder. Look at the comic book he's reading. Mr. Parker, please wake up. Hey, wake up, will you, Chuck? Wake up, boy. Hey, hey, you guys, you better watch out. The, the mad man runs after me. What, what, what mad man runs? Oh, come on, Chuck, you've been dreaming. Huh? Oh, no, no, really, I saw him. He had a steam iron, and he was mean and ugly. Hey, speaking of steam irons, we better get over to the main base and pick up our rations before uh, Binghamton gets mean and ugly. Uh, come on, boy, you feel all right now? Oh, I thought I saw him. Which... Oh, Pagasan, I just finished your shirts. Hey, the mad mattered. Watch out for the steam iron. <laughs> How does he expect me to do shirts? Must be packing for section eight. <laughs> sees this birthday present. I tell you, she'll wear this to the yacht club. She'll knock all those other wives right in their poop deck. <laughs> Carpenter, what are you doing looking in the window? <laughs> That's not Carpenter. Come on, you little snoop. You get away from here. You scat, scat, scat. Come on. Scat, scat, scat. That's an order. You scat. You want to report. Captain, Captain, there's a crisis in emergency. <laughs> What's the matter with you rushing in here like that? For heaven's sake, you're gonna smash my wife's birthday present. I'm sorry, sir, I didn't... Oh. oh, sir, that's going to make a big hit with your wife. Women, <laughs> women are just crazy about costume jewelry. I don't. Costume jewelry? This isn't costume jewelry. It's the real thing. This is genuine jade. Je I bought this from an Air Force officer for $1,000. $1,000? So where did you ever get your hands on that kind of money? Uh, oh, I, uh, I, I borrowed it from uh, some friends. Friends? Yes, friends. You have friends, sir, here on this base? <laughs> of course I have friends. I, I played chess with Commander Barnes once. Oh, <laughs> right there. Yeah, what am I talking? What are you doing here, Barney? What is it? Why, why, why? I almost forgot, sir. There's an emergency. There's a fire down by the warehouse. Well, you dodo, what do you say? You want to stand here the whole base burns down for heaven's sake? Get hopping! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get a little more done in there. That's it. That's it. Look out. Look out. 
Yeah. Right. Down there, boys. Yeah. All right. Who's the pyromaniac here? Who, who? Pyromaniac? Oh, no, sir. You see, we were just passing by. We noticed the smoke and the fire. I know. You tried to burn down the base to collect insurance, right? <laughs> no, that's not it, sir. Stand back. Let the fire control officer in here. Wait a minute. What is this menace doing here? How we see, sir? Uh, fire control officer Parker reporting, sir. Everything under control. <laughs> Put your fire out for good. No, 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 no. It's just an accident. It wasn't an accident. No, yeah, just put it out. See? I tell you, Carpenter, they started this whole fire. And I'm going to send this necklace to pump in, and then I'm going to have a complete investigation because I don't have to. Ah! Ah! It's gone. It's gone, my necklace. Oh, sir. Find the necklace, Find the necklace. Oh, but what could have happened, sir? You put it right there on the table. I saw you myself, sir. I, you... Yes, you were the last one to see the necklace, weren't yes, you? Yes, sir. All right, you sneak thief. You, you empty your pockets. Oh, but, but, sir, I was with you all the time, sir. I find the necklace. Sir, you're tipping. Sir, look, sir, sir, your window, it's open. Somebody could have come in there, sir. Are you suggesting that there's anybody on this base that would be so low and so criminal as to... Of course, Mikhail. <gasps> Imagine that lead bottom shaking us down like this. Yeah. Grilling us like we were common ordinary criminals. I say we sue for defamation of character. All right, all right. He's off, you guys. We're in a clear on this one. I'm still worried about Mr. Parker. Well, he's been there longer than any of us. Binghamton has probably browbeaten him into a physical wreck. Uh, <laughs> the light's not in my eyes anymore. Why don't you oh. fix this part? Oh, thanks. No! <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Now for the last time. Where is that necklace? Where, 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 where? Uh, look, Captain, I told you, I don't know where it is. And if you don't stop banging the table, you're going to nick a knuckle. Uh, <laughs> I'll nick your noodle now. You tell me the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, or else. The hose. The hose, The hose. Right here, sir. And, sir, don't forget, we've got a whole box of toothpicks for under there. Oh, wait a minute, Captain. Now you sit right there and talk, you little hood of you. Come on, Captain. You're not laying another finger on poor Mr. Uh, Skip, it's me. I'm all right. It's a captain. Boy, he gave himself an awful whack. Okay. Get them out of my sight. They're all under arrest. Take them to the brig. The brig, wait a minute. What for? What charges? The charges stealing my wife's birthday present. And you are going to rot in that brig until you return that necklace. Do you understand that? You're going to rot, rot, rot. Well, Captain, if you just want a present for your wife, why don't we all chip in and get her a gift certificate down at the ship store? <laughs> gift certificate? Yeah, they're running a sale on shower clogs down there. Now, they're bound to have her size. <laughs> shower clogs. Get out. Ah, 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 come on, Chuck. You're just trying to railroad us, and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, uh, in case you're interested, if you'd like some tips on how to use a rubber hose, XJ-12 could really teach you. <laughs> See, it's all in the flick of the wrist. What? Oh. 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 Come on, come on. Here. Gotta relax, Wally. Relax. Just let every one of those screaming little muscles go in. Oh, Captain, Captain! Oh, 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 sir, what happened? What's wrong? I'm relaxing, you don't know. What do you think? Get me off the deck. Oh, yes, sir, please, please. <laughs> Like sir, this. sir, 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 please, sir. Your right. necklace, your necklace is as good as found, sir. Uh, I found? My, my, my necklace has been found. Oh, Elroy. Oh, that's wonderful news. Oh, it's beautiful, Elroy. Where is it? Where is it? Give me it. Give me it. Oh, well, it hasn't been found yet, sir, but it's just a matter of time. You see, I figured as long as we weren't getting anywhere with Commander McHale, it was time to call in professionals. Sir, I wired Naval Intelligence. You wired Naval Intelligence? Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> he said that they are going to send immediately one of their crack criminal investigators. He should be here within 24 hours. Sir, wasn't it brilliant of me to think of it? You wired Naval Intelligence? Oh, they'll turn this base upside down. What? They'll go over the books at the officers' club. Oh, but sir, well, you care as long as you get that necklace back, huh? Don't you see? I'll write the money for the... I didn't have the money. I have borrowed it from the... <laughs> from the what? Oh. <gasps> you mean the officers' club fund? You... you dipped your head in the till? Oh, sir. Please, Elroy, please. I mean, oh. I didn't mean, I mean, it was just a temporary loan. I was going to pay it back, honestly, Elroy. I mean, 1% interest. <laughs> hey, 
Wait a minute. What am I telling you all this for? You, you open your mouth about anything, and I'll give you a good one. Yes, sir, I wouldn't tell a soul, but this is awful. I'd better call Naval Intelligence right away and tell them the whole thing was a mistake. That you just imagined it all. No, 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 no. Then they'd really get suspicious, and they'd come snooping around here. Now, I've got to find some way to keep them from coming. But how, sir? Well, I've, I've got to solve this thing before they get here. You see, I've got to catch Mikhail with the goods. But so we have tried everything. Even the third degree didn't work. They are hardened criminals. I know. <laughs> That's right. They're criminals. They're criminals. They're cri I'll turn them loose. What? You see, I'll turn them all loose. Oh, but... Because the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Oh, I, sir, they will lead us to the necklace, and then we nab them. Oh, sir, you are a genius. You certainly know the criminal mind. Mm. But why not being one yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, right? oh, sir. What do you mean, being one myself? <laughs> sir, sir, please don't get mad. Remember, it's only your first defense. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? A naval intelligence man's coming. Oh, are you kidding? Naval intelligence? Are you sure? Yeah, I got it straight from my buddy at the radio shack. Carpenter warned him that the captain's necklace is missing and they're sending up a gum shoe. Holy jumping hand. Well, that's all we need around this island is some naval intelligence poking around. Yeah, and if they find our underground still, we've really had it. <laughs> Never mind that. What about Fuji? If the fuzz puts the finger on him, he's dead, and so are we. Oi, vey! I tell you, that miserable necklace is going to be the end of us yet. That miserable necklace is... Hey, wait a minute. That's it. The necklace. we got to come up with that necklace fast, boys, and Bingham don't have to call out the naval intelligence. Boys, we got to come up with some fancy detective work. We gotta go over to the main site and find out who swiped that necklace. And remember, everybody's a suspect. He's right. XJ12's words exactly. Everybody's a suspect. Uh, all right, Fuji. Where were you on the night of March 24th? Mr. Parker, sir. Don't try and get cozy with me, all right? Come clean and I'll try and get you a job in the prison laundry. Oh, geez, look, will you stop already with this XJB12 stuff? Look, we gotta make tracks. Come on, boys, let's go. Come on. Where was I on the night of March 24th? <laughs> now, Group B. B. They will keep their eye on him from the north. See that? Yes, sir. Now. Group C. Uh, sir, if I may make a suggestion. If group A and B are covering the flanks, I would suggest that we take a reserve group and deploy them right about there. Ah! Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Sorry. You're trying to make a pin no, no, out of your no, no, Sir, I'm trying to be helpful, sir. Please, sir. Never. No, sir. Excuse me. Is this Captain Binghamton's office? No, this is Ebbets Field, and I'm Leo DeRocha. What do you want? Oh, sorry, sir. I, I'm Lieutenant Crawford. I just flew in by air transport, and I'm reporting for duty at the base hospital. Does this look like a hospital to you? Now, get out of here. Go report the head nurse. Lieutenant, I'll show you the way, and on behalf of Captain... You Captain won't Crawford. show her anything at all. I'm going to puncture your commanding officer. I had to give you... You keep out of this. Are you groupie? Are they... Mikhail and his pirates are storming the beaches? Good. Good. We'll be right there. Let's go, man. Uh, 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 sir, is there anything I can do? You're still here. Well, you can get out of my way for one thing. You know, if you've got any jewels, hide them. Hide them. Hide right, them. Let's go. Get out of them. I gotta sit down and think. Now, who would want to take a necklace? A woman! <clears throat> a woman. A woman. Oh, let's see, where am I gonna find a woman around here? Who, uh... Hey! <laughs> Nurses are women. That's my first clue. Oh, man. I'm gonna bust this case wide open.
somebody in this room? Pardon me, I have to operate right away. Who are you? Don't touch me, I'm sterile. Uh, I'm finally operating. Help! 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 Shh, you'll wake up the sickies. <laughs> Roger. Group B reporting in, sir. Commander McHale is heading back to the dock with Machinist Bell and Gunners made Edwards, but still no sign of the necklace. Oh, drat it. It's that trick to throw us off the track. We're being bamboozled. <laughs> well, they are not going to get away with this carpet. I tell you that. They're not going to get away sure. with it. Have... Didn't anybody ever tell you it's not polite to point and stop that infernal chattering? I... <laughs> The hairy boob is back again. She's got the necklace. You give me that. That's my necklace. You give me that. That's my necklace. You give that to me, I'll have you shot, you ape. You. You'll never see another banana again. Let's get on the necklace. Carpenter, he's making a break for it. Quick, after him. Have him arrested. Have him thrown an iron. Sir, what do you care about him? At least you've got your necklace back. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Now you can contact naval intelligence and tell them not to come. That's right, Elroy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I've got the naval intelligence. If they file a report that my crime wave was nothing but a monkey, Admiral Rogers will laugh me right off the promotion list. Thanks, sir. That's too bad. It's a shame that you couldn't have caught Commander McHale with a necklace instead of that monkey. Mm. Why does everything have to happen to me? I try so hard and I... <laughs> Elroy. Sir. You're a genius. Oh, you are a ge... Oh. If I can get this thing into McHale's grubby little hands before the naval intelligence man gets here... Oh, but, sir, how do we get Commander McHale to take the bait? Well, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Captain Binghamton, sir, I want to report a peeping Tom in the nurse's quarters. It, it was awful. Well, I'm sure it was, but I don't have time to bother myself with your petty little inconveniences. I'm... A peeping Tom in the nurse's quarters? What? Yes, sir. He, he was a, a pudgy, weird-looking ensign. <laughs> Pudgy, weird-looking ensign. Uh, was he bald-headed and sort of goofy? Yes. Oh, that sounds like Chuck the Ripper has struck again. Chuck the Ripper? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's from uh, McHale's mom. Oh, Chuck the Ripper. Oh, yes. Uh, my dear, you wouldn't believe this, but they even try to steal this present that I bought for my wife. How do such awful men ever get into the Navy? I mean, can't somebody do something? We could uh, get the goods on Mikhail if we had an outsider. Uh, somebody that they don't know, so they know me. Well, sir, nobody knows me. Is there anything I can do? Would you do that? Well, you dear patriotic little thing. You come <laughs> right over here and you sit down. Now, you listen to this brilliant scheme that your commanding officer has, because this is something that cannot help but benefit the entire free world. I don't get it. That necklace has got to be somewhere. You sure you guys didn't overlook anything? Skip, we pumped every known operator on the base. Hey, Skip, someone's coming. Hey, it's that new nurse. She's after me. She's probably going to slap a peony on me for hanky-panky. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing strolling around this time of night. Hey, level boy. Battle stations. Go over there and check around, see what gives. Roger, Skip, this is my kind of mission. Come on, come on. <laughs> Excuse oh. me, Lieutenant. Uh, the name is Virgil. If you're uh, lost, I'd like to help you. Why, thank you, sailor. But Captain Binghamton's waiting for me in his office. Oh, well, what about next Saturday night? Uh, the boys are having an all-night luau. Oh, the I'm base sorry, but the captain's having a party, too, and he's asked me to come. Why, he's even offered to let me wear a beautiful jade necklace. Look, I know these Binghamton parties are the lowest. It... A jade necklace? Yes. Binghamton's got a jade necklace? Ah, uh, yes, and it must be very valuable because he said he keeps it locked in his safe. He does. Uh, well, well, listen, hon, I, I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta go and check something very important with a skip. Maybe you'll give me Sunday night off for a date. Now, uh, you wait right here. Skip, will you hear this? I just found out from that nurse that Binghamton's got the necklace. What? Stashed in a safe. He had it all the time. Then it never was stolen. Of all the dirty... He was trying to frame us. I should have known. I should have known. Well, maybe Seamus will be here by morning. That's right. What are we going to do? Our only chance is to break into Binghamton's safe. And if that necklace is there, maybe we can force him into calling out those boys from intelligence. Hey, well, Skip, what about the chick? Oh. Well, we need somebody to back up our story. We'll use her as a material witness. You, Gruber, come on, let's go. The rest of you guys stay here. Ah, uh, Lieutenant! <laughs> Yes, she is, Grub. 
Silver, get to work. Yes, here you go, you nimble little devils. Oh, flashlight steady, scared me. <laughs> we sure appreciate your coming along with us, Lieutenant. Well, I just couldn't let the captain take advantage of you men, if what you say about the necklace is true. Oh, it's true, all right. That's why I was sneaking around your quarters. I'm really not a masher. But your reputation. I heard you're known as Chuck the Ripper. The Ripper? They must have been talking about the time I got my pants caught on the torpedo rack. You know, I almost caught pneumonia that day. Shh, keep it down. How are you coming, Fingers? Just one more turn, and bingo. Who was that Jimmy Valentine, anyway? Uh-huh. The necklace. How about that? That Bingham done had it all the time. Why, that no good. I was right. He was trying to frame us. Correct, Mikhail. And all I need to go with that frame is a picture. Turn <laughs> off those lights. You want to get us in trouble? <laughs> Captain Binghamton, I've seen you stoop to some pretty low things in my day, but this is the lowest, tut, tut, the tut, powers. Tut, 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 Mikhail. Flattery will get you nowhere. You see, you're all under arrest. As for you, my dear, the Navy owes you a debt of gratitude. What? You mean she was in on this, too? Oh, thanks a lot, Miss Benedict Arnold. Yeah, boy, I wish I were a masher. I'd mash you. <laughs> no attention to them, Lieutenant. All we have to do is wait to have the picture developed, and then we wait for naval intelligence. You don't have to wait any longer, Captain. I'm Lieutenant Crawford from Intelligence. I'm the investigator you've been expecting. <laughs> Are you kidding? She's a gumshoe. It's getting exciting. Well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I mean, you couldn't... Uh, you're, you're just a nurse. Well, what, what is this, some kind of a prank? I assure you, Captain, this is no joke. I'm from naval intelligence. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to arrest you for attempted fraud and false arrest. No, 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 wait a minute, you little vixen. You, you're probably in this whole thing with Mikhail. Let me see that silly badge. What does that say? Chicken inspector? Let me... <laughs> oh, that was no fair. She got me from behind. I wasn't ready. Hey, that was terrific. Just like XJ-12. You see that, Skip? I told you it was all on the wrist. I saw it. I saw it. It was beautiful. Sir, it was a sneak attack. Maybe you can get a return match. I don't want a return match. <laughs> You're making a terrible mistake here. I'm not the fraud. You shouldn't be throwing me around the room like you ought to be throwing them around with that. Yeah, well, explain that to the board of inquiry. Now come along quietly. Uh, thanks a lot, ma'am. And uh, look, uh, and forgive me for that crack about Miss Benedict Arnold, huh? Not at all, Commander. Oh, and don't worry, sir. Prison life won't be so bad. Why, you can learn a trade. Like making license plates. <laughs> Gee, you know, maybe you can get a load number for our Jeep. Oh, oh, Chuck! Oh, oh, no, I found something else to play with. You're as strong as she is? I did it. I did it. Did you see that? I told you it was in the wrist. Where have I gone wrong? <laughs> been through a terrible ordeal, sir. But at least that board of inquiry was easy on you. Easy on me? You call it easy to be dropped to the absolute bottom of the promotion list? It'll be World War IV before my name even comes up again. Hey, Captain, here's those supply requisitions you wanted, sir. Oh, I just leave them and take off. Take uh, yes, sir. Oh, before we go, sir, uh, if you need any judo lessons... Uh, no, 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 Chuck, never mind. Well, let's go. Well, I just thought that next time he gets in a fight with a girl, he can make a better showing. <laughs> I'll make a showing right now. Oh, no, 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 Captain, no, no, stop. No, no, Chuck, Captain. Well, what are you standing there for? I need all the help. 